Doug and PA back with another video. So guys, look at this headline. Demi Lovato changed pronouns because explaining they them to people was absolutely exhausting. Ah, oh, poor Demi Lovato. If you guys don't remember, in 2021, Demi Lovato switched to they them pronouns. She shaved like the side of her head and, and got a septum piercing and stuff like that. It was awful. Now she doesn't want to do it anymore because apparently explaining to people they them is too exhausting. And the funniest part about Demi Lovato and people like her is she can switch whenever she wants. Whatever's trendy. Apparently it's not trendy anymore. Apparently she feels more feminine. Let's get into this article here. Before I do, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And guys, put in the comment section experiences with women that you've encountered that call them, that, that go by they, them, or they have some weird kind of sexual thing, like they're saposexual, demisexual, pansexual. How you've had to deal with that in dating? Because I've seen a lot of women online dating profiles or in person that say that they're, you know, some kind of weird pansexual, you know, I'm attracted to your thoughts type thing or something like that. So put in the comment section all your experiences and let's get into this here. Demi Lovato has revealed why they decided to readopt she, her pronouns and in addition to they, them pronouns. So I think in this article, she goes by they, they say they the whole time. So are they misgendering her or can you say they, them? I don't know how this works, man. In 2021, the American musician who's best known for her hit Cool for the Summer announced that they are non-binary and would be using they, them pronouns. Last year, they decided to also use she, her pronouns to avoid having to constantly explain herself. I constantly had to educate people and explain why I identify with these pronouns. It was absolutely exhausting, said Lovato 30 in a new interview with G2 Hype Spain, translated from Spanish to English. I just got tired, but for that very reason, I know what that it is important to continue spreading the word. People like this just want to bring undue hardship onto themselves. There are people that have scars, people that have things that they can't hide that have to deal with, you know, this undue attention. But she, like this whole they, them, I honestly think it's just a, a attention grab, especially if she can go back to she, her pronouns anytime she wants. I think she did this for, for attention and to identify with, with what's cool. And now that it's gotten difficult, she's taking it all back. The solo singer said that they wish there were more gender neutral spaces for people like them. I face this every day, for example, in, in public toilets, having to access the women's bathroom, even though I don't completely identify with it. Oh, poor Demi Lovato. Oh, no. There are people going through things in their lives that you can't even imagine. And you're going to complain that you have to go to the women's bathroom, although you're a biological woman. Get out of my face. Lovato continued to explain that when filling out government documents or forms, they often feel uncomfortable when presented with two options to specify their gender. You only have two options, male and female, and I feel like none of that makes sense to me. To me, I feel like you don't make sense to me. How about that? Lovato also opened up about wanting more gender neutral spaces, adding, I would feel more comfortable in a genderless bathroom. Because my feelings and my fee fees. In 2021, Lovato came out as non binary, explaining to fans that they would be using they them pronouns going forward. The singer told fans on social media that, that they had been doing some healing and self reflective work in the past year that ultimately led to them re examining their gender identity. I'm just going to say this, guys. I think people that do this have nothing else going on in their lives. They really don't. Men have. have what does Myron from Fashion Fit always say? Men have civilized the world so much. We don't have to worry about famine. We don't have to worry about war. We don't have to worry about anything but what pronouns we're going by. The West is finished. With that said, I'll officially be changing. Um, oh, wait. I want to take this moment to share something very personal with you. They, they began over the past year and a half. I've been doing some healing and self-reflective work. And through this work, I've had this revelation revelation that I identify as non-binary. 
self-reflective work and healing. Those are some red. Any woman that uses healing and self-reflective on a regular basis, run far away, guys. Run far away. With that said, I'll be officially changing my pronouns to they, them. I feel that this best rep represents the fluidity that I feel in my gender expression and allows me to feel more authentic and true to the person I am, uh, the person I both know. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I just said, and allows me to feel most authentic and true to the person I both know I am and still am discovering. Gosh, guys. On August 22, announcing they had started using she, her pronouns again in addition. The singer said during an episode of the Spout podcast, I'm such a fluid person that I don't find that I am. I feel I felt like, especially last year, my energy was balanced in my masculine and feminine energy. Guys, oh, the energy. Oh, yikes. She has to be a nightmare, you guys. An absolute nightmare. So that so that when I faced with the choice of walking into a bathroom and it said women and men, I didn't feel like there was a bathroom for me because I didn't feel necessarily like a woman. I didn't feel like a man. She continued. I just felt like a human. Lavati went on to assure others that nobody's perfect and that everyone messes up pronouns at some point, and especially when people are learning. Guys, I don't know if this they them thing's ever going to be a permanent fixture in the United States. And you may see it on the coasts, but let me tell you, Texas, Alabama, Kansas, yeah, good luck with that, guys. And I do, I do think that people need to be respected, but I think grace has to be given to people because this is so new, and you're gonna have to like the, the people that want you to use they them pronouns are going to have to be as patient with you as you're going to have to be patient with them. But a lot of people that go by these different pronouns, they don't want to give you that grace. It's going to take time. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.